In this tutorial, we'll explain the object-oriented editing concept and demonstrate how to use the grouping and scoping functions in Cool. Everything in Cool is considered as an object. An object can either be an item entity, a brush, or a group of other objects. This essentially allows us to use a multi-layered grouping structure in our Quake maps. Imagine a Quake map made out of level sections, which in turn are made from simpler structures, which themselves can be made from other smaller objects or brushes. In our case, we'll use the map file office.qle for our example. As you can see, the bookshelf is actually made up from a number of different brushes, but since they are grouped together, we can select, move, and manipulate these brushes as one logical bookshelf object. The same applies to the table and the palette rack in our room. A scope in Cool is defined by the group of objects that make up another object. If we want to modify the grouping information of an object, we need to enter that scope first. We'll use the bookshelf again as an example. First we select the bookshelf, then we press the scope down button. Everything in our map other than the bookshelf disappears. We can now rearrange and modify the components to the bookshelf. After we're done modifying the bookshelf, we can return to the previous scope by pressing the scope up button. There are two ways to group objects. One way is to simply scope up and all the objects that we've added in that scope will be grouped together. We start from a new map and add a couple of brushes. When we're done, we can scope up. Then all the brushes will be grouped as one object. The second way to group objects is to do it manually. We first select the object and go to the menu command Object, Group, Add To. This will highlight the object in the color brown. We then select another object and press G again and repeat the process. When we're done marking all the objects that we want to move into a new group, we go to the menu command Object, Group, Finish. If we ever want to disband the group, we can use the menu command Object, Group, ungroup, and all the subcomponents will no longer be grouped together.